Nuclear fusion is the process of building up nuclei by bringing together individual protons and neutrons, or building larger nuclei by combining smaller nuclei. Let's look at the average binding energy per nucleon versus the number of nucleons graph again. Those very small nuclei are not as stable as those with size similar to that of the iron-56. Fusion combines small nuclei to form a bigger, more stable nucleus. Both fission and fusion release energy, but because the graph is very steep for very low mass numbers, fusion can be expected to release more energy per nucleon than fission. Nuclear fusion is how our sun and other stars produce energy. Let's look at an example. This is one of the sequences of fusion reactions that our sun uses to produce energy. See if you can balance these equations. To help us balance the equation, we can put in numbers for the positron. And the positron, this is a 0, 1. We do not have to put in numbers for the neutrino or the gamma ray because they do not affect the balance of the equations. So let's see. Over here, we have on the top 1 plus 1, and this must be 2 plus 0. So this is 2. And this is 1 plus 1 equals to, it must be 1 plus 1. And this one here, it's 1 plus 2, and this means it must be 3. And this is 1 plus 1, so it's 2. Of course, we also know that for hydrogen, the atomic number has to be 1, and for helium, the atomic number must be 2. So this means uh, we know this is 2, this must be 2. So down here, we have 2 plus 2 equals to 2 plus uh, this must be 2, which means it's 2 times 1. So this number has to be 2. Now, I didn't really give you enough information to figure out the top numbers because this is 3 plus uh, this number equals to that plus uh, 2 times 1. And it turns out this is uh, 3 and uh, 4. We can also combine the three steps of the sequence and write one equation to represent the net effect. Please fill in those two blanks. To help us balance the equation, we can put in 0, 1 for the positron. So up here, we would have something times 1 equals to 4 plus whatever times 0. That means uh, this number here has to be 4. So down here, we would have 4 times 1 equals to 2 plus uh, a number times 1. Since 4 equals to 2 plus 2, this must equal to 2 times 1. 